share y'all share this video share it share it share it if you're new welcome also you make sure you like comment share turn your notification bell subscribe you don't want to miss out on that girl kiki period because that girl kiki is going to be here non-stop period so as y'all can see from the title i'm going to be talking about my opinion and this is my honest 100 percent opinion on colorism and how i feel like it's affecting us as the black community so the reason i feel like Colorism has separated the black community and affected us and basically destroyed us as a whole. Because honestly, if you think about it, if you're if you're a girl and you're light skinned and you know you look good, they're gonna accept you. They're gonna automatically accept you. They don't even care if you're, you're not a good person. As long as you look good on the outside, you got a big butt. You know, you just got an acute voice and. You, they, they're just going to automatically accept you into the industry or if you're a makeup influencer and trying to do that, that you get passed. So my thing is, why is colorism such a big thing? Like, why does it matter if she got to be light skin, dark skin, this and that? Like, why can't we just all stick together as a community, a black community? This is why the out, outsiders look at us crazy and feel like that they can disrespect us and they can talk down to us and that they can do what they want with us because look how we treat each other when it comes to colorism. Look look at how, how like, we treat each other. Do y'all see how Lil' Kim looked back in the 90s versus how she looked now? Lil' Kim was very beautiful. She was a very beautiful, dark-skinned woman. But guess who brought all those insecurities? Y'all know. I'm sure y'all know about how she ended up how she is now. And the fact that Biggie did that to her and took her through that because he felt he was feeling himself he felt like she wasn't good enough for him because she wasn't light-skinned and he did her the way he did that's wrong so she had so much insecurities to the point she had to go change her skin tone and whatever else she went through after biggie because she went through a whole lot even after biggie so the fact that she was already beautiful and pretty as a dark-skinned woman she didn't need to transition the way she did she didn't I'm not saying she don't look good now, but I'm saying back then she was very beautiful, very pretty, very natural. So the fact that now I'm talking about today's society, colorism is still going on and it's affecting the black community so bad that if you don't look a certain way, they're not going to want to talk to you. It's going to be hard to get a job. It's going to be hard for you to do anything that you want to do and that you want to achieve if they feel like you don't have the looks, especially if you want to be a model. If they feel like you don't have the looks. They're not going to want to give you a chance. They're not going to want to help you. So, as far as these new rap girlies that I honestly feel don't really have that much talent, they're using their looks as talent. It's a shame because why Why? Why do they have to use their looks to be where they are at now? Think about it, y'all. I'm going to use these two, for example. Although I feel like at this, they both make inappropriate music that no children should be listening to, but people then let their children listen to both of their music. Ice Spice, Sexy Red. Sexy Red is dark now, Ice Spice. Ice Spice is very light. She's lighter than me, right? She's lighter than me, Sexy Red maybe a little darker than me, right? Think about it. Both of them make inappropriate music that no children should be listening to, right? But because y'all feel like I Spice is a baddie, she's pretty, she's this and that. She get a pass and she don't make, her music is not appropriate. And then on top of that, when she's saying her music, it just, it's not given. Versus Sexy Red makes the same same exact type of music. But because she look darker, she she more ratchet. Y'all, y'all, that's the thing. As a black community, why y'all do that? Because Sexy Red make the same type, the same type exact music. The same type exact music, right? She's ratchet. She's she's a hood rat. She's just in that. Okay, what's the difference? I Spice rap about the same exact thing. Mulatto, Mulatto rap about the same exact thing. Who else? I can't even say. Cause this is how y'all know I don't know much about these new rap girlies. But the main three that I see always trending is Lotto, I Spice, and Sexy Red. Think about it. 
Lotto and I Spice get a pass because they light skin, right? Sexy Red don't get a pass because she's dark, darker than them, right? And she's more hood rat. She's ratchet. But they all make the same exact type of music. And this is what I mean about colorism has separated us, the black community. It's separated. Because for one, from what I see and from what I heard, neither Ice Spice or Lala was black. But because of what? They're light skinned, right? They're light skinned, right? And they get a pass. They're pretty and light skinned, they get a pass, right? Sexy Red is black. She's black. But what, because she's black, right? Like she's black. She's ratchet. She's a hood, right? And that's why I feel like the black community is not only colorist, they're hypocrites. Very much hypocrites. Because it should not have to be that way. It should not have to be that way. And it's sad that we are, day by day, we are separating from each other because of things like this. Oh, I'm not going to talk to her because she's not light skinned enough. She's not pretty enough. She don't have the best body. She's ratchet. She's loud. And y'all give the other communities, the outsiders, a reason to do what they do to us, to disrespect us, to feel like they could talk down on us, to feel like they could be us. Hey, you got people on the outside that's trying to be like the light-skinned black people. Like the natural light skin, y'all see how I'm light skin, right? But uh, nobody's gonna really pay attention to that because I don't aesthetically look like what today's society will expect for a light skinned black girl look like versus me. I'm I'm really black, black. I'm a um both of my parents was black. My dad was light skin, my mom was brown skin, so I'm light skinned, but I don't look as light as what they would expect for a pretty aesthetically baddie type of girl will look like. So this is why y'all see these girls always trending because they fit those looks. They fit those looks, right? Versus you see Sexy Red. She's trendy, but the only reason she's trendy because y'all feel like she's ratchet, she's dirty, she's this and that. What's the difference? Another example, Sukiana. Y'all say Sukiana is ratchet and dirty and this and that, but they all make the same exact type of music. But because Sukiana and Sexy Red is not light-skinned, Y'all bash them, y'all call them hood rats, call them this and that. But because Lado, I Spice, and who else? Who else is another rap girly that's light skin and pretty? The only ones that I really know of right now is Lado and I Spice because they're the only ones I always see trendy. But in my honest opinion, and I like Lado music, some of her music. I like some of her music, but as far as listening to all these other people's music, I don't really get into it like that. I don't, and I'm giving y'all the truth. I really don't. I don't. I'm just giving y'all my honest opinion and let me know if you agree because this is what I'm seeing on the daily when it comes to colorism in the black community. And as far as dating, even dating, even dating in the black community, you will hear about a dark skinned guy not want to give a dark skinned girl a chance because she probably got big lips, right? She probably got big lips. Her hair probably look like mine and she's just not giving. Versus a dark-skinned guy going after a, a light-skinned girl that look like Ice Spice or look like Lotto. He'll give them a chance, right? But they all act the same exact way. Like the same type of music. And I'm using them as a sample because I don't know who else to think of when it comes to using it as an example right now. Because those are the only people I see trending right now. That be trending on my timeline. So my thing is, it shouldn't be that way. It really shouldn't. And it's sad that it's gotten that way. It's really sad. Why can't, uh, and I'm going to keep expressing this, why can't we just go back to the old days where it don't matter if you're black and light skin or dark skin or brown skin. You're still black, right? Why can't we just all get together and have fun? This is why the outside, this is going to keep constantly, constantly feeling like they can constantly disrespect us, be racist towards us. Heck, even some of them try to be like us. Y'all remember a couple years ago when Danielle Fishburne, whatever her last name is, because she... The only reason she got famous is because y'all seen what happened. Y'all seen how she got famous, right? Disrespecting her mom, right? And then her mom using her. But y'all seen how she said, who wants to be black? Who wants to be black? I don't understand that. I really just can't comprehend it. Y'all remember when she said that? Now look at her. She looked like a heck. She, she, she looked like a light skin. Girl, right? A light skin baby. If you when you, if you didn't know that she was white, you probably would say she's either light skin or a mix, a mixed black girl, right? Who wants to be black? Y'all remember when she said that? Heck, even Mo Vicky. Who? 
So my thing is, y'all giving the outsiders a reason to feel like, okay, well, they not getting along. So why don't we keep disrespecting them too? And not only disrespect them, but try to be like them. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. Why? Why are we keep separating ourselves day by day because of who not looking the baddest, who not looking the lightest, who more ratchet than who? Like I said, Sukiana and Sexy Red, they're not ugly. They look good. They look nice. They look, they may, to y'all, they may not look just as nice as Ice Spice and Lala, but they're pretty. Y'all don't know what they go through when they're not on camera, when they're not in the studio, when they're not talking to nobody. Y'all don't know what they really go through versus what Ice Spice, Lotto, who else? I can't think of another light-skinned girly that's new in the rap game right now. Those are the only ones. If y'all can think of anybody else who is light-skinned and pretty and is famous right now, let me know. Because that's the only attention I'm seeing right now, is mainly, especially Ice Spice. And it's sad that it's gotten that way. It's really sad. It's really sad. It is really sad. Like, really sad. Like, why? Why does it got to be that way? Why? It just don't make sense. It don't make no sense. Oh, I, I got another one, but she's a brother right now. What's her name? Um, Is her name Danny Lee? Danny Lee. Yellow Bones Buddy Monk, Monk, Monk. Like, y'all remember a couple years ago when she came out with that song, right? Yellow Bones Buddy Monk, Buddy Monk. Like, the fact that, and I'm, if I can find a clip, I'm going to post it. If you say, I can see what I'm talking about, I'm going to post it. But, yeah, why does it got to be that way? Why? And half the time, these, these, these light-skinned baddies that y'all looking after, that y'all think is black, is not even black. Heck, Cardi B not black. Right? We we love Cardi B, right? I I I like Cardi B. I listen to her music. I, I was a big fan of her at once. But I'm just using these people as an example. Like, cause you would think that because they're just a normal light skinned girl that it's whatever, right? But because you see these type of girls, they get all the attention, they get this and that and this and that. Versus somebody like Sexy Red, Sukiana. Megan the Stylin, and it's sad. It's sad. It's really sad. Cause Megan the Stylin, she's not ugly, right? But y'all gonna say she looked like a man. She's too tall. Versus Nicki Minaj, and I'm not trying to come for the barbs, cause I did used to listen to Nicki Minaj too as growing up. But versus Nicki Minaj, and they hold that that whole beef thing was crazy, cause it, it, they shouldn't have been beefing the way they was beefing. But I'm just giving y'all my opinion on why colorism has separated the black the black community. Why I feel like it's separating the black community day by day. What I'm seeing going on my time now. Now let's go for back to where I was talking about dating. Y'all, I'm not gonna lie. It was hard for me to date to date guys too because we guess I'm light skinned. Or to y'all may look a little not light light like these girls, but I'm light skinned still right so think about it dating as a black person is hard in general whether you're a black woman or black male because you got you especially the black guys they feel like because like i said she's not pretty enough or is she if she's not pretty enough she's not light enough he's not going to talk to her she don't even care if she's a cool person he wants to go for the baddies he want to go for this and that right and i don't see the disrespect Personally, I done seen it. I done had a black dude tell me, oh no, I don't want to talk to you because you don't look light enough or you're not, you're not, you know, I don't like black girls. Like what? You don't like black girls, but you black, right? And these people be, these people be black. Like these dudes be black. It be the man that be black, that be saying stuff like that and doing stuff like that. Black like my jacket, like that black. So the fact that it separated us as a whole is sad. And we got to do something better than that. We can't keep treating each other like that. Because the more we come at each other and treat each other like that, guess who else is going to keep constantly being racist towards us, bashing us, talking bad about us, and trying to be like us? Y'all know? So to, to, to my... I just feel like it's a better way of expressing yourself. 
and a better way of saying you have a preference. You don't have to just because she black. You don't gotta bash her because she black and you feel like she just is some hood rat girl that lives off section eight. No, it shouldn't be that way. It should. I'm sorry y'all the camera cut off. Like I was saying, if you're a black guy and you got a preference, it's a better way to express that. You don't have to say, oh, she too black. Her hair is too short. She's righteous. She's loud. And then it's whatever. I mean, I don't normally date them. Uh, oh, shit. But, um, but my thing is, it's not necessarily it's the skin color that's the problem. It's the behaviors that turn me off a lot of the times. What it doesn't have that? to do, because I've been with black girls before. What it just, is it then? Maybe the behaviors? Yeah. All, all yeah. black girls yeah. the same. Yeah. Behavior. Keep in mind. Yeah. The way they carry it. What about their behavior? Yeah. yeah, what is the behavior to yeah. you? Uh, well, it's the behaviors that I dislike. So, like, you know, being loud, obnoxious, argumentative, they masculine. Is that black girl to you? Um... Well, not all black girls are like that, but they're not. So the ones but you've but some are. So, do you feel black women are are aggressive when you say masculine? Do you most, associate most that with aggressiveness? Women. A portion. When I hear stuff like that, that hurts me as a black girl in general. That hurts me to hear that and say to hear it coming from a black dude, supposed to be a black king, right? But you bashing your black queen because you feel like she too dark. She's not light enough. Her hair not long enough. Y'all think about it, like, look, bro, like, I enjoy being black. I enjoy it. I'm embracing that every day, day by day. That's why I started my natural hair journey. I enjoy being black and love who I am. I really do. Yes, I had insecurities in the past, but I started to work through that. Seriously, I started to work through that, y'all. And I'm not going to lie. When I was about six, seven, eight, maybe nine years old, I used to wish that I was white. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I was a little girl thinking like, "Dang, why I can't be like white like them? Why I can't be a white girl?" I used to really be, have my moments where I wish I was a white girl because seeing the colorism is real. It's real. It's really real. Like really real. Like I went to high school, y'all, when I was in ninth grade, and my first Facebook name was White Girl China. White Girl China. Yeah, my one of my nicknames is China Red, but I took out the red part and said White Girl China as one of my first Facebook name, one of my first fa Facebook names. And the reason why I do that is because I'm seeing how the light, the lighter skinned girls than me is getting more attention in school. And I said, heck, what should I do now? Because these girls are getting more attention than me. So what do I do now? What What's next? So like I said, express your preference in a better way. Don't just expect what you feel like you're not attracted to. Because karma is real. Karma is real, real. You could be a black dude saying you don't like a black girl, but guess what? Guess what? You might end up having a black daughter, right? In the same way you feel about that black girl, that that's karma. And I don't, I'm not saying that you're, if you do have a kid, I'm not saying they deserve that, but sometimes it'd be the karma. It Karma is real. God don't like when, God don't like ugly. He don't. So for y'all to be disrespecting us and disrespecting each other in the community is sad. And y'all got to really do better when it comes to that. It has to stop. Seriously. It has to stop. It's not right. We're supposed to stick together. It's Black History Month. And it's been a lot going on this month, y'all. We only in the second month of 2024. It's been a lot going on. It's Black History Month, y'all. We see all the girls he's going at each other and fighting and arguing. So much been going on, so much, and we only in the second month of 2024. Again, we are not getting along for what? What is the reason? Why y'all? Why? Why y'all gotta feel like y'all gotta compete with each other? And that—that's what I'm saying. Colorism has to really separate the black community because it's so sad that y'all feel like y'all gotta compete with each other because y'all feel like some somebody don't look good like somebody or. This person gonna get more money than this person, more whatever it is you're trying to do. I'm just saying, like, it should not have gotten that way. And it's sad. It's really sad. So, yes, y'all, let me know what y'all think. If you have any experience, if you can relate, let me know. Leave a comment. Make sure y'all like, comment, share this video. I will be back with another one, y'all. Another one is coming. I might do another part two to this of why I think colorism has separated the black community because there's so much more I got to talk about when it comes to this and so much I have to tell y'all when it comes to this because I've seen all type of things that experience all type of stuff when it comes to colorism.
So you don't want to miss out. Just make sure you like, comment, share this video, turn the notification bell, and see you next video. Be true, be true,